Hi guys, Jeffy from TAP. Just wanted to show you a bit of a technical uh, issue which we came across only this week uh, from one of our customers. We got called out by one of our customers who has unfortunately not been well and been uh, unable to drive for a number of months. Her car, this particular one here, which is a 2019 Toyota Camry AXVH71R Hybrid. The 12 volt battery is completely flat. It's been sitting in the garage for six months or whatever and they couldn't get it going. They'd run the roadside assistance, they'd run another mechanic who'd gone to it, no one could get the thing going. The 12 volt battery in this particular car is located in the boot. Uh, the boot is electric, there's no uh, mechanical override to open the boot, therefore we can't get in there to jump start the car, so they were saying. But remembering that this is a hybrid, we don't have a starter motor in the vehicle. The car is started by MG1, motor generator number one, and for the guys that have done the EV and hybrid training would know exactly what we're talking about. That is what actually powers or starts the vehicle up or gets it into ready mode. Well, to get it into ready mode, we've got to activate the contactors in the high voltage battery. So all we need to do is actually power the car up with a small amount of power, enough to close the contactors in the battery pack. That will engage the high voltage battery into the system. We will also engage our DC to DC, our high voltage 14 volt supply to run the charging system. So we don't need to jump start the car per se. So what I did is got to the vehicle, was able to obviously open the bonnet, was able to then just pop the, the relay fuse box up, if I can, and we have a battery point just here. So all I need to do is connect up with a small three mil cable, some power to here and earth to here. Straight away, you could hear the car powered up. I was then able to put it into ready mode. And once it's in ready mode, then the high voltage battery is number one, gonna crank the car over to start the engine when required, but also the DC to DC is now in play. Our alternator is now running, even though the car's not, and we're able to then drive the car away. So very, very easy to actually get this vehicle into ready mode is by just supplying some power at some point in the car. So we don't have to jump start it like we would in a conventional ice engine car. So good little tip to it, if you're ever having to go rescue a hybrid vehicle or even an EV for that matter, there are normally these sorts of points where you can activate the high voltage battery unit in the case of a 12 volt battery failure. So hopefully that helps you out. If you're more interested in the EV and hybrid stuff, don't forget we're doing lots of training. There's webinars on the website as well and or our EV and hybrid network. Uh, so anyway, the TAP members want to get more involved in that side of it as the hybrids are certainly selling fast and hot at the moment and they're going to be a big part of our, our repair, our part of our workshop in the years to come. See you next time.